Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Dissolve feature in ArcGIS 10. Uh, the Dissolve feature is used to aggregate features based on specific attributes. Uh, so in this example I'm going to be showing you how to, how to use it using Staffordshire boundary data. Um, the tool is found under Geoprocessing up here at the top and Dissolve. By simply putting the set in that you want to dissolve and pressing OK, it will totally dissolve it, leaving just the border outline. Uh, this is useful for turning ward data into counties data. Um, but I quite often use this to just produce a thicker border that can be put around counties to delineate where they are, like so. However, the dissolve function does have more power than this. So if I select the Staffordshire boundary set again, you'll notice that it has two additional fields, the Dissolve box and the Statistics box. Uh, the Dissolve fields box, uh, this allows you to select um, data from your table, from the Attributes table to dissolve by. Uh, so in, this, in the Attributes table for the Staffordshire data, I've created a simple class system from 1 to 3. It doesn't really mean anything in this example, but it could mean um, it could be used to delineate things like unitary authorities that lie within that lie within the boundary. So as you'll see when it finishes calculating, it's reduced the number of wards into these boundary areas. Like I said, they don't really mean anything, but you can um, gear it to whatever you want to create. Uh, another function as I mentioned before, is the statistics field. Uh, the statistics field is used to calculate statistics based on your dissolve. So, for example, if I select from this list the total number of pensioners and select the statistics type as sum, when I do the dissolve, it will create the statistic based on the data set. So, as, as you can see, if I go into the attributes table, it produces a statistic based on the dissolve. So what this is saying is that there is 157,229 pensioners in the entirety of Staffordshire. Uh, I hope this has been useful. It's given you a bit of an insight into how to use the dissolve tool. Uh, I will be doing more videos, so keep watching.